Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to show you first my first activity. So that is my activity. So that is a irregular shape, and we all know that irregular shape has different lengths and angles. So let's proceed to AutoCAD. So to start with, I'm going to type a command line. Okay. So it will show specify your first point. So since I I have given of coordinate to locate my first point, I'm going to type one comma one as our given coordinates, then enter. So that is x for one and y for one. So next point given point we have the coordinates of four point one comma one so to do that to input that shift three for number sign or hashtag then input your first uh, coordinates for x which is 4.1 comma one and then enter okay next point next coordinate to locate our next point we have 4.5 and 2.2 so similar process just simply shift 3 for number sign input your first point for x we have 4.5 comma 2.2 then enter okay next point the length of this line is um, 2.3 okay then enter okay for the next point so this time i'm going to create 150 degrees and we all know a straight line is uh, composed of 180 degrees so i'm going to reduce it by 30 degrees so let's input first our length so we have 1.4 tab press tab to your keyboard then input 30 degrees then enter so to check this if this is 150 degrees simply go to dimension select angular and then select your first line and second line so that is 150 degrees okay so to continue type a command again line and enter then connect to this end point then going up we have the length of 2.1 so i leave it the degree of 90 okay next so i'm going to create again 150 degrees here so i'm going to reduce uh, 270 minus 150 which is 120 degrees so that is what i'm going to input for degree so let's input for the length of this line which is 1.6 tab 120 then enter okay next a straight line again okay for our next point we have 1.3 so i will make it 180 degrees enter then going down with the length of 1.4 enter next so at this part i'm going to create a 45 degrees so to do that I'm going to reduce 180 degrees by uh, 45 which gives 135 so let's input first ma the length which is 2.2 tab 135 degrees okay straight line again um, with the length of 1.0 so I will make it 180 degrees and enter okay next same thing i'm going to create here 45 degrees so i will going to reduce 45 degrees to 180 which is 135 degrees so let's input first the length which is 1.5 tab 135 degrees then enter next a straight line again with the length of 1.0 so I'll make it 180 degree enter 
and for our last point we have 2.3 tab on our given we have 60 degrees okay so enter so on our given uh, shape we don't have a given point so if I'm going to connect this uh, line to this end line it must give 120 degrees so let's check wait okay so that is 120 degrees then enter okay so we already done um, creating our uh, irregular shape next thing I will do is that I'm going to um, put dimension on its specific line or corresponding line and then its angle so on our given shape here let me show you again so it has only one decimal places okay so going back if I'm going to type um, DIM enter okay if I'm going to specify the first point and the end point it has uh, four decimal places okay so we're going to change the dimension style manager so I'm going to erase this okay so go to dimension style manager and then go to uh, select this plus sign and then you can rename it so I'm going to rename it copy of standard one then continue go to primary units and then go to precision select this one decimal places as you can see at this uh, preceding figure the dimension changes okay and okay close so now we can put the dimensions okay so command dim okay then select this line up to end point then that's it have one decimal places so that will be continuous so I'm just going to input all dimensions okay okay 1.4 2.1 so the, this is 1.6 1.3 okay this 2.2 so one is uh, 1.0 okay 1.5 1.0 and 2.3 okay so we're already done putting uh, the corresponding lens or dimensions so I'm going to input uh, its uh, degrees so just simply go to dimension select angular and we, we are given here at this part 150 degrees so select this line first line and the second line so that is 150 degrees okay next so I'm going to command DIM angular enter so this one must be 45 degrees okay so that is 45 degrees next angle so command again DIM angular then select the first line and second line and that is 45 degrees okay so next this one must be 60 degrees command again DIM angular enter select the first line and the second line and that is 60 degrees lastly is 120 degrees so command again DIM angular enter 
then select the first line and the second line so that is 120 degrees okay so i'm going to put this uh point at the center of dimension line okay just click it then move with dim line okay then put it on the center okay so that's it oh this one okay so i'm going to put it also on the center okay move with the dim line then okay so since we already done putting all the uh, angles and its uh, lens i'm going to input the coordinates so we are given by one one here 4.1 comma 1 uh, 4.5 2.2 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this multi-line text or command m text for in short so i'm going to input here okay one comma one for our so for our for our next coordinates so select m text okay and then 4.1 comma 1 okay select m text again then input your coordinates we have 4.5 comma 2.2 .2. okay 